So now we can talk about iteration and, and why is iteration so important to uh, companies or, you know, people that are, are running a, a business and, and you're in the business of, of making products or, or you're selling some service of some, of some kind. Iteration is, I think, the best way to define it is a cycle. It's, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, a circle that you go through where, you know, you have like some process you go through to make improvements to some product or service that you're creating. And uh, there's different types of methodologies for um, uh, different types of uh, iterations. Um, you know, you, you have like kind of the, the iterations that focus on kind of a piece that's going through and that's really kind of the lean model that Toyota perfected. Um, you also have like uh, software methodologies agile and Kanban, but they all focus on this this idea of this cycle or this iteration. It's a short amount of time where you can accomplish some business objective or some customer goal in some short window and then you you know sprint. A lot of times people talk about sprints. Well you come up with an idea, you figure out how it should work and then you try to sprint towards finishing it as soon as possible. And then what you do is you get that information out to your customers as soon as possible. Um, and this is very useful as opposed to traditional or, or more of um, older approaches to developing products and either online or, or uh, physical products. Um, it used to be more of this kind of waterfall of, you know, you get this huge amount of like requirements or uh, rules that should govern this product. And, or service, and then you build it, and you got to keep those uh, rules and requirements locked in stone. So again, uh, when you look at iteration, it's just this idea of the short cycle and being able to get a, a finite amount of work putting it in that cycle and really, you know, uh, you know, trying to get through that cycle as soon as possible. So that's iteration.